mai nga reke reke o pari haka mai nga ki te au au hate a puta atu ki te au it is Ngatine FM, the rhythm of the road. Ah, uh, that's right, brother. Ko hau ko maasi a hopa, he uri tenei no te taitokerau. Uh, ngā puhi, ngā te whātua ki o rākei, ngā te whātua ki kaipara, uh, waikato i te tāho toku pāpa. Tipu mai au ki konei, ki whāngarei. <laughs> E pau hiwa uh, o tō mātau pakihi, tō māua pakihi, um, e ki ana o Nifa Creative. Ai, ko Phoenix Luka tēnei, uh, hi uri a hau nō hokianga pangaru uh, manga kāhia, uh, irony nō muhi raua. Ai, uh, nō rei rei mihatu ki a koutou, nō whangarei a hau, e tupu aku au ki konei. Ko au uh, te tahi o ngā pau hiwa o Nifa Creative, uh, atu i tērā mahi, he kaimahi anō ki Sport Northland, uh, hakina tai tokerau, ko au te, te pau aro nui uh, ki ērā mahi. Nō reta, mihia tika koe pau. We also uh, two-thirds of the Eare Mara crew here on the breakfast show here at Ngāti Hine FM, uh, the rhythm yes. of the rock. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As a business, like a lockdown was actually great for us. Being a creative and graphic design and stuff, that mahi actually was like booming during that time. So uh, we were busy, which was good. Um, I rewa ake uh, te tahi kaupapa a maua, um, Nifa Jams. So we connected with uh, Kaiwaiata, o te rohe nei, o te motu, um, even over in Australia, just doing waiata and Mahi whakapiki wairua while we're at home. Um, like for us it was like, it was pretty, it was out of it, you know, especially that I remember the first initial announcement of like the whole country going into lockdown and how crazy that seemed, you know, and um, mm. how crazy it seemed to have to wear masks everywhere and, yeah. and how crazy it seemed to be stuck in your home away from, you know, your immediate whanau and yes. so that was out of it but in the same breath it was, it was pretty cool because my daughter at the time, she was only like three or four months. At the moment I've got three jobs <laughs> trying to pay the bills and all of that, you know, so to have some time guilt free at yeah. home with my baby, I was like, oh nah, I love this, so it was pretty cool. Obviously there was the, not everyone was as lucky to yeah. still be able to work through that process so you know aroha to ki arato, but for us um, for my full-time work we were still able to work online like Marcy was saying NIFA was like busier than ever I guess people were looking for different avenues to create revenue for their whanau which meant starting new businesses which meant more Māori small businesses mm. so we got an influx of people coming in to talk to us about you know oh, can you do a tohu for us can you do a website for us you know so NIFA actually took off during that time. <music> Anga whakamua for me, I guess uh, it's a it's a massive guiding principle in terms of my mahi and in terms of our whānau, it's just the tikanga inside my whānau. So our whānau is pretty big on um, hauora. We have a, a gym, Common Grounds Fitness, and so that was born off the back of wanting to take the teachings from our tūpuna and then be, be able to hand them on to our uri. Um, and so we have a whakatauki that we, that we created uh, in our whānau and it's he tauda punga heke. And it kind of speaks to, I guess, a similar philosophy to anga whakamu. It's, it's one hand holding hands with our tūpuna and the other hand holding hands with our uri and being able to pass on that kōrero. So it's looking back to the teachings of our whānau, of our mātua, of our tūpuna and then being able to hand that on. So it's, it's um, our tūpuna were some of the healthiest, smartest, fittest, you know, people that we've ever known of. Uh, our whānau is just all about moving forward and progressing, or any kind of movement is succeeding. So just be a doer. Kauai noho, you know, it's that whole, let's go back to the simple as whakatauki, tamatū, tamaora. And so anga whakamu, I see that as just get up and do the mahi, whatever it is, as long as you're one foot in front of the other, kōkiri whakamua. Mm.